4,959 beds out of 5,994 beds have been filled in Wisma Atlet Emergency Hospital, Kemayoran, Jakarta. This means over 80% of the maximum capacity have been reached. The hospital coordinator, Mayor General Tugas Ratmono, said the spike in occupancy rate has been rapid in the past two weeks. Jadi ini dua minggu uh, terjadi suatu peningkatan kasusnya. Jadi hmm. waktu itu kira-kira hunian 60 persen gitu ya, 50 persen, 60 persen. Saat ini jadi 80 persen. Yeah. Jadi ini kira-kira 20 persen lah melonjak di situ. In anticipating further spikes, he has installed additional transitional ICU unit in the hospital with 20 beds, HCU unit with 27 beds, and IMCU unit with 94 beds. The hospital has also recruited 400 frontline health workers to assist with the spikes. Meanwhile, in Pontianak, West Kalimantan, vaccination efforts are underway to protect health workers against the virus. As 639 health workers are inoculated in Dr. Sudarso General Hospital in Pontianak, West Kalimantan. Director of the hospital, Yulianti Saripawan, said from the screening process of the entire health workers in the hospital, 500 are ineligible to be inoculated because of past medical history or have been infected with the virus. Indonesian Red Cross or PME is urging COVID-19 survivors to donate their blood so their convalescent plasma can be extracted and used to treat COVID-19 patients. The use of convalescent plasma has been known to be very effective in treating and saving lives of COVID-19 patients. Vice President Ma'ruf Amin endorsed a campaign calling it a form of caring for humanity. Gerakan bersama ini diharapkan menggugah empati dan motivasi para penyintas COVID-19 untuk bisa berkontribusi sukarela mendonorkan plasma convalescent untuk membantu pasien COVID-19 yang saat ini tengah dirawat di berbagai rumah sakit. Hal ini sebagai wujud peduli kemanusiaan dalam membantu menyelamatkan nyawa manusia sehingga diharapkan mampu menekan angka kematian akibat COVID-19. The COVID survivor number in Indonesia is currently one of the highest in the world. But the availability of ready-to-use convalescent plasma is still very limited. Karena itu sejak Mei sudah didonorkan sekitar 7.000 uh, plasma convalescent kepada penderita. 7.000 berarti kurang lebih 40 per hari. Ini masih sangat kurang dibanding dengan kebutuhan. Tiap hari di seluruh Indonesia minta permintaan kurang lebih 200. Yang kita bisa penuhi hanya 40 per hari atau 50 per hari. Karena itulah dibutuhkan suatu pendonor lima kali lipat. Baru kita bisa memenuhi kebutuhan masyarakat akan dan mengurangi tingkat kematian daripada penyakit ini. Based on PME calculations, the number of prospective donors who survive COVID-19 with moderate to severe levels is only around 5 to 10 percent of the number of patients who have recovered, or around 35 to 70,000 COVID-19 survivors. However, the total distribution of convalescent plasma until January 14, 2021 is only 7,680 bags. This figure is still very low compared to the estimated number of COVID-19 survivors who have the potential to become convalescent plasma donors. To facilitate donors, as many as 31 of the 325 blood donation units of the Indonesian Red Cross have convalescent plasma management equipment. PME targets 5,000 COVID-19 survivors to donate convalescent plasma. See today contributor reporting from Jakarta and Pontianak, West Kalimantan.